An infraclavicular block is used to anesthetize the arm at or below the level of the elbow. This block could be indicated for surgeries of the elbow, forearm, wrist, and hand. Remember to check the level and adequacy of the block prior to incision. The infraclavicular block occurs at the level of the cords. Re-remember the breakdown of the brachial plexus using the mnemonic, Randy Travis drinks cold beer. The basic setup for the infraclavicular block includes an 18 to 22 gauge 9 centimeter insulated needle, sterile towels, gauze, a 20 ml syringe for local anesthetic administration, a 3 ml syringe and a 25 gauge needle for local anesthetic skin wheel placement, sterile gloves, aseptic cleansing solution, an ultrasound and sterile probe cover, and or a nerve stimulator. Below is a basic overview of the steps needed to perform both the ultrasound guided and landmark techniques of an infraclavicular block. Please feel free to pause the video here to read each step carefully. Ensure the patient is positioned supine with head slightly elevated and facing the side opposite of proposed block placement. On the side of the intended block placement, have the patient adduct their arm and rest their hand on their abdomen for optimal access and visualization. For placement of the infraclavicular block, identify and palpate the sternal and acromial ends of the clavicle. Slide distal to locate the coracoid process, which is located in between the acromioclavicular joint and deltopectoral groove. If using the ultrasound technique, identify the previously mentioned landmarks and position the transducer in a parasagittal plane in order to identify the axillary artery. Upon identification of the axillary artery, identify the proximal, medial, and lateral cords surrounding it. For this block, the cords appear hyperechoic or brighter. Take note that the needle must pass through both the pec major and minor muscles, which may lead to increased patient discomfort. Additional local anesthetic may be injected once the needle passes through the skin to promote patient comfort. For the infraclavicular block, correct needle placement includes an in-plane insertion just below the clavicle. After negative aspiration, inject local anesthetic in small 5 ml increments for a total of up to 30 ml, ensuring negative aspiration each time. If it is difficult to locate the cords individually, it is acceptable to inject local anesthetic in a U-shape around the axillary artery.